Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to episode 1 of the Bungie Cord mini-series. In this mini-series, I'm going to show you how to set up Bungie Cord, and then how to write plugins that can actually uh, interface with Bungie Cord. In this first episode, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up a standard Bungie Cord setup, where you have the Bungie Cord server running, then you have two bucket servers running, and they are both set up to work with the Bungie Cord server. Uh, if you already have this set up, then you can skip this video and go on to the next one. Uh, where we're going to actually start writing plugins that can use uh, Bungie Cord to do stuff. We're going to use like the APIs and different things that they have available. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm assuming that all of you know what Bungie Cord is, seeing as you've clicked on this video and you're probably looking to learn how to use it. Uh, but if you don't, uh, Bungie Cord is a way to link multiple servers together so that you can switch servers without having to log out and log back in. Uh, this is good for some of the larger servers where uh, you might have a minigame server that has five different minigames and each minigame is running on its own server and then you have a lobby server and rather than having to give people six different IP addresses to save in their Minecraft client you could have it where they could simply click on a sign or type in a command or do whatever they have to do and then it will automatically kick them from the server that they're on, and then send them over to the new server, and they don't have to do anything. So that's what makes Bungie Cord so cool. Um, I'm going to stop talking now about this. Let's go ahead and uh, get it set up. First thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and download Bungie Cord. So to download it, you can go down on this page right here and see this link right here. This W get and then just copy this link right here. This will automatically download, or this will download the last successful build of Bungie Cord, which is the latest version of Bungie Cord. So you'll want to go ahead and download that. Now I'm going to go over here to my uh, Bungie Cord mini series folder, and I have three folders. I have my Bungie Cord server, uh, server A, and server B. So if we go ahead and take a look inside of Bungie Cord server, it first of all has Bungie Cord, the latest version that I got from that link, uh, which I will put down in the description. Uh, then there's also the start server command. Uh, if you look at the first video, I th yeah, I think it was the very first video, Bucket Coding Episode 1, I'll show you how to set this up. You have to open up a text file to put in this code, and then uh, do, so do a command in terminal to make it work. But uh, basically, you'll want to take a look there and just replace bucket or craft bucket with bungee cord and it'll work the same way so that's the bungee cord setup and as you can see I have not run the server yet uh, so there's no generated files yet next you'll want to go ahead and grab bucket I'm of course not going to go over this because I've done it uh, in a couple of different videos but if you take a look in server A and server B they both have craft bucket and they both have that exact same uh, start server command, except instead of bungiecord.jar, it has um, craftbucket.jar. So if you guys get confused by this part with the command, I can um, link you. There's a bucket, there's a page on the bucket forums, I believe, that explains how to do it. Uh, but if you guys already know how to do it, then that should be fine. And then server B just has the exact same stuff. So now let's go ahead and actually set it up. So first we'll go ahead and run the start server on Bungie Cord. And I'll move this console over here. So as you can see, um, it's doing all of this stuff. Uh, this will lo not look familiar to those of you who use Bucket because this is uh, running separately so uh, the output's a little bit different, but as you can see, it's basically uh, it was doing its initial download of uh, all the different commands uh, that go with it, and then it was enabling everything, and now it's listening. And you'll see it says listening on 0.0.0.0 uh, .0 .0 .0 is just the local host, this IP address here, and then the port is 25577. And if you look around, uh, you'll see some of the other files, and this config.yml is very important. We'll come back to that in order to set it up. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and type in end. Uh, it's not stop, it's end, and then that will stop the bungee cord server. So we have all the files generated, so I'll just go ahead and stop it for now. Uh, now let's go ahead and start up server A. 
and it will run through and do all of its initial um, generation of all of the files and then that should only take a second and then we'll be good okay so it's generating the worlds and that's done so I'll just go ahead and stop that as well for now and then I will go ahead and do server B so I'm gonna go ahead and let the second server generate all of its files then after that we're gonna go in and configure both of these servers to work and then we're gonna go ahead and configure bungee cord to work as well okay so we are waiting for this to load and if I do make any mistakes in this video, please leave a comment. I don't believe I will, but I um, haven't really used bungee cord myself, so uh, if there is some kind of a mistake in this video, I do want to fix it. Alright, so let's go back to server A now that all of the files are generated, and uh, we first need to open up the server.properties, uh, and there are two things we want to do here. First is we want to take a look at the uh, port. So the port 25565. Uh, that's the default port and for server A that's fine. In server B we're going to change it to be 25566 so that uh, both servers have their own ports and they're not trying to run on the same port. So we're fine for there. Uh, one important thing is you need to set uh, online mode to be false because the uh, you know bungee cord will uh, route you through to the different servers but uh, it can't I guess it can't authenticate with the Mojang servers if it's uh, if it's connecting through bungee cord. So uh, that does need to be false. Uh, then over in bucket.yml, we need to do one quick thing. We need to set the connection throttle from 4,000 or whatever its current value is to be negative uh, 1. That's also important. Over here, let's go to our server.properties. This is server B. Uh, we first want to change the port to be 25566, so it's different than server A's port. Then, of course, uh, online mode needs to be false. And, oh yes, the bucket.yml. Uh, almost forgot 4000, change that to negative 1 for the connection throttle. Finally, let's go check out the bungee cord uh, config, and there are a bunch of different things in here. So let's go through uh, all the important things. First, um, in groups, if you take a look, you can create different uh, groups within Bungie Cord and give them permission. So it works kind of like a permission system. Uh, so right now, MD5, who I, is the developer of Bungie Cord, has put himself as an admin on all servers by default, which is interesting. Uh, but let's go ahead and change this so that uh, I am an admin since I, of course, am running these servers. I want to have access. So what this is saying is that by default, anyone can use the server command for changing servers and anyone can use the list command. I believe that's for listing all of the players across all the servers, uh, but I'm not completely sure. And if you're an admin, you can use alert which will uh, send out like a broadcast across all servers. Uh, end, I believe, will stop the server from running. Uh, IP will probably show your IP address or the server's IP address. And then reload will just reload Bungie Cord. Uh, the player limit here is just the limit of players, obviously. Negative one means it's disabled, so that's fine. Um, you can change the MOTD right here. Um, so we'll go, let's go ahead and see, we'll call this Bungie. One important thing that I've noticed is when I save this, see this um, tick thing right here is straight, but then this one here is not. So you want to copy the straight one and paste it in place of the not straight one. I don't know why it does this, but I believe that that is uh, important or else you'll get like an error with the YML. Um, okay. Let's see what else. Uh, right here where it says host, that's where you can change like the port that it runs on uh, if you want to change it. And okay, the important things that we need that we need to do is down in servers. This is where you actually put all of the different servers that you have. Uh, so under server, you, fir you first put the name of the server, then the MOTD 
for the server, the address of the server, and then whether or not it's restricted. Now, the important thing is you need to have at least one server called Lobby, and that's the default server. So you can have as many servers as you, as you want, but one of them needs to be named Lobby or else Bungie Cord won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, excuse me, and paste it since we have two servers. So the first one is going to be Lobby, and this is server A. So it's running on 25565 is the address, and I'll just name this server A. And we, sorry, we want to put in this straight guy. Uh, then it's running on 25565. Then I'll go ahead and call the other one B, and this is going to be for server server B, because we have two servers, and that's for the second server. And this is 25566, which is uh, important to note. And I believe that we should be good. So let's go ahead and start up all three of these servers at the same time. So first we'll go ahead and start up right here, and as soon as you get this listening on message, then you know that you're all started up well on there. Let's go ahead and start up server A, which I'll kind of stick in the middle and we'll allow that to start up before we do B. Okay, so that was quick, and now we'll start up server B. So I now have Bungie Cord and two bucket servers running on this computer, so the fans uh, are starting to run just because I'm doing some intensive things right now. So let's go ahead and I'll move Minecraft up here. Now we'll go ahead and join. First I'll go ahead and add a server uh, and then I'll call this one Bungie. And for this, you're going to add, you want to tell people to connect through the Bungie server. So this is going to be 25577. And I'll go ahead and accept that. And as you can see, uh, it says Bungie in blue because that is the um, IP, or sorry, that is the um, MOTD that I gave it. And you'll see that every time I refresh it, it says initial handler is connected because it's receiving this request and then it's, uh, you know, telling me that it received the request. So let's go ahead and actually uh, connect here. So it'll say, uh, I've connected, and then uh, this person, Pogostick29, connected to Lobby. So right here on server A, you'll see it says Pogostick29 logged in. So let's go ahead and just to be able to quickly show you, we're going to say give Pogostick29 sign 1. Well, first, I guess I have to opt myself. Okay. So now I'm going to give myself one sign, and I'm going to call this server A, and then just lobby in parentheses, because this is the lobby. And right there. Now if I go ahead and type slash server, this is a bungee cord command. It'll tell me that I'm currently connected to lobby, and the following servers are available, B and lobby. So let's go ahead and say server B. As you can see, I left the game over here, and I just joined the game over here, and then you'll also see that um, I was disconnected from the lobby and then I was connected to server B. Uh, let me go ahead and opt myself on this server uh, and then I'll go ahead and do give oh good okay. and then I'll go ahead and call this server B. So now I can clearly differentiate between the two servers. So if I go to server lobby then you'll see right there server A. And if I go to server B, you'll see that it says server B. So as you can see, Bungie Cord uh, does successfully work. I'm getting all of the right messages that it's disconnecting from the older server and connecting to the newer server whenever I run the command. Here I'm getting the join and leave uh, as I join and leave. And then over on B, I'm also getting the join and leave as I join and leave. So that's all for this video, uh, just setting up Bungie Cord, explaining kind of how to set it up with two different servers. This will obviously work with as many servers as you want, you just have to configure them all in. Uh, as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. In the next video, we're going to start actually writing plugins that will work with Bungie Cord and allow you to do things across server, not just on the one server you're on, uh, which will be pretty cool. Uh, see you guys soon with some more videos. Bye for now.